Okay, round two against Mr. Exuperatus or something? I'm not sure. He's not here yet either. So I guess we'll just play first because we won the draw roll. Die roll. And keep this hand because it's... Eh, it's got lands. <laughs> that's, that's my standard. And it's got early aggression. If, I, if this was a land in two chases, I would consider not keeping it. But since this is like pretty early defense and I have some chases to back it up, I, I think this hand is fine. And I'm just going to pause it here while my opponent tries to conclude his business and get to a match. And we're back. I'm going to go ahead and play this guild gate first, I guess. Just because it comes with tapped and I can always pay the tail if I really need to. Well, there's no real call to that. I probably should have started with Sacred Foundry. Just so I could play the mountain and then play Kenny for sure. But since I'm on the play, I don't think it'll come back to bite me. Since the only thing you can really play on turn one is an Bant, maybe? Bant is two varieties, more controlish and uh, sort of ramp into Prime Speaker kind of thing. Armada Worm and such. Uh, this is not a matchup I think I'm particularly good at because it's I'm more geared towards stopping aggro than anything else. But we'll see how this one works out. I'm just gonna play my Keening Apparition as, as just a creature. Because I don't he doesn't have a turn three play for me to have counterflux. There's no realistic card I would counterflux on turn three. I think he, the only the closest thing I can think of would be like a key ring. And if he just plays Luxton Hierarchy or can't counter it anyway. I looked in higher bucks than this monitor. I'm gonna plus chase. I'm sorry. Minus chase forever. Somewhat cards, and I don't want this chase. I'll just like take the land and the king apparition. If he puts them in that pile. Uh, Jace Mountain, I'll take. I, I want the land more than anything else. I'm not gonna block this. Or I'm not gonna attack because I want to block. Since he really called the Conclave, I think he's just straight Selesnia, like token mid rangey aggro sort of thing. I assume he's attacking Jace here. Since I will gladly take three. And this kills my creature. I just want to trade Keening Apparition for more cards. So it's possible I should have just like plus chased. Made it take two, go to three, minus it then. That key wins super annoying. Ooh. Hmm, okay, so my choices here are to leave open counterflux for our model room, which it probably should do. And yeah, I think I'm gonna leave open counterflux and play Azori's Charm as Beast Token, or as Centaur Token. So I'm gonna plus chase and put this in my taps. If he attacks, he can attack both it, Chase. Looks like he is not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, okay. All according to plan. And then as we're trying to center taking. Unless he doesn't attack with it. Okay. Gonna go ahead and kill that centaur token, draw some more cards with Jace. And a symbol of Legion would be pretty good. As with Sphinx's Revelation. 
Sphinx's Revelation gives me something to do this turn, whereas if I didn't have it, I would just be passing turn. I, he, he was giving me a land and the card I want, which is strange. Like, I can see your reasoning for taking the Supreme Verdict there, because if he has like another Armada, I might want to deal with it. But Sphinx is really should draw, just draw me into one. Uh, you're in beginning of combat, what are you trying to do? Oh, okay. It's a really roundabout way to act place Lesnik your room, because you didn't attack with it. So my opponent just misclicked a bunch there, and I didn't I didn't use my Sphinx of Relation because I didn't want to discard. And he didn't do anything. Um, I, I guess I just plus chase anyway, I can't really do anything about it. Whereas if my opponent had done something, I would have just faced the revelation try and draw into something. What is he doing here? The two Gazi and plus six make a token? Sure. So he just like saves mana to make tokens, he can't carry it up chase. Just slightly problematic for him. Um, okay, he's just gonna populate. Populate night tokens. And I think a 3 3 and then populating that is better than a night token and populating it. Especially when you have to use a card to make the night token. I'm just gonna draw three cards. Two is sad casters is pretty good. <laughs> so what are my choices here? I can end of turn in the end of end of my turn he'll use this populate thing, which will put in two night tokens blue. I think Supreme Verdict is just a better choice. Because I want I'll probably gonna Supreme Verdict is Actually that's not true. Okay, so if I kill his guys, he has five power in play and can attack Jace and kill it. He's a free bird now. He can't kill Jace, but I have two more in my hands. So it's not really even a big deal. I'm just going to minus Jace right now. So if I can draw another Supreme Verdict or a Symbol of Legion, I can change my game plan. So I draw a Symbol of Legion here. Is it Static Aster? I'll probably take actually. I'll probably only take the. Hmm. Not sure what I want in this pile. Because the Boar Striker is good for killing him with Static Casters and such, but three Static Casters, I don't think he can beat. I think I'm just going to take the Static Caster pile. And then start playing them, I guess. The only awkward thing is if I pass turn and he just says, okay, I should discard a bunch of cards. But I think it's better than nothing. Yeah, that's what I figured would happen. It's fine though. I have a bunch of lands. I don't know if I need additional chases. Probably don't need an additional land. There's four white sources, I think that's fine. <laughs> this also saves me the trouble as he plays like an armada worm or something here, I can just date them away. Or verdict them away, excuse me. So in a sense he wasted my turn, but he didn't noticeably progress his board state, so it's fine. Yeah, he's not attacking me. Why isn't he? Oh, he doesn't want to attack with the two guys guild mage in case I always charm it. Though it's actually advantageous for him because I could have day in my hand. I could have a wrath. Oh, 
Oh, he has a stolen allocation, or whatever it's called. Root point defenses. I don't know why I said stolen allocation. I'm just going to kill his guild mage in that case. Mm -hmm. uh, this also explains why he didn't populate last turn. I was on the card advantage angle. He has one card in hand. I'm going to play this on tap so I can start playing static casters. This, it doesn't, the two damage shouldn't matter because I should be able to block two damage. Activate these key runes for attacking. Or, what is this? Uh, Armada burn. Well then, I probably need to just chase into a verdict. I know one verdict's on the bottom of my library, but I'm going to play the Stycaster anyway because I might need to get rid of this. You should definitely attack with Tristani here. Like, he can use Azorius Charm as a way to protect himself from Wrath. Whereas now he's just, like, leaving himself wide open to it. Okay, come on, lands. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I hope he attacks Jace next turn. I will take the pile with two lands in it. What? Observe my masterful play. So I'll be killing his knight tokens next turn, and he keeps playing creatures. The only way out of this board state is Wrath. He needs to stop playing creatures. Unless his last card is specifically reborn defenses. In which case I really can't do anything though. So I think Merciless Eviction actually exiles things, so he's attacking Jace. Sweet. <laughs> so, so far he's doing zero damage to me. Is he going to attack with Armada Worm? Armada Worm is also attacking a Jace. This is the worst possible attack. <laughs> I'm gonna block first in case he has the invocation he wants to use. Invocation, I keep calling it invocation. I need to report defenses. Okay, he's populating. Okay, it's a very weird time to do it because he's been playing around his Orius Charm the whole time. I just his Orius Charm this. It does not correspond with his. Past pattern of play. Detention sphere also removes all his worm tokens from the game. So I'll take a detention sphere if that doesn't work. So I take away his detention sphere, he's left the worm token uh, and Tristani. Okay, his last card was land, which he finally played for me. You know, he's just populating his worm token main phase. Which, eh, nothing you can really help, else you can really do, I guess. Okay, there's the Azorius Charms in playing around. So now that he stopped playing around, it maybe I can get him with it. There's a revelation. That'll keep me alive. 
Probably stacks land with it. Nope. Okay. <laughs> it's worth a shot. I'm just gonna kill this guild mage now. I actually, I don't even know if I can. If I can survive this, so let's see here. If I have three staff casters in play, I can block, 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 take, or let's see, block three of them. That puts me six damage from trample, then plus four is ten. And then Azori's Charm, the other one, puts me at five. And I have to use Jace. So he can still, he still has the ability to attack Jace. So instead of like Sphinx's Revolution for uh, zero and trying, or one and trying to dodge attention sphere, I'm just going to have to do that play. And then either Impulse Jace if he lives, or I'm going to change my play based on what he does. Like if he attacks creatures with Jace, I'm more likely to have Sphinx's Revelation. Especially if he attacks multiple creatures with Jace. And if he only attacks one, I can choose another Zori's turn then. <clears throat> Basically, I just assessed that I should not do anything in case. Because I didn't need to. If he does attack everyone in me, then it gives me extra cards to draw with Chase, which is good. And I've already done the math for that. I'd be extremely surprised if he doesn't attack with his. Well, I, I'm not really surprised he didn't attack with his because he's not at all game. But I, if he doesn't attack with Guildmage and Tristani, I think that's just wrong. Okay. So. This is 20 damage. I can block. Let's see, what do I want to do here? If I block two of them. I can Angel for 4. That puts me up at 10, 5, 9, minus. This is 4, is 5. It puts me at 5. I think that's what I'm going to do. 5. That way, Might of the Masses pretty much kills me anyway. So. Okay, so block, block, take 10. That's my plan. Kills good mage, obviously. Hopefully, he just uses all his mana to populate, so I don't have to deal with uh, root one defenses. I'm gonna ping it in response. Show what I think of him. <laughs> okay, so please be root one. Okay, he does not have root one defenses. I'm going to go ahead and get to the stack. Okay. And take 5, end of, take 10, end of turn, make a bunch of, or draw a bunch of cards. I'm surprised I didn't attack Chase. Yeah, not that surprised. Go to one, rather, yeah, sorry. I forgot about the four damage. It didn't matter because I had the backup of the race charm. So if you were to Slesnia charm one of his creatures. He's been attacking very poorly this game. I guess we'll just plus chase. Drew my spring verdict and a counter flux and a civil vision and has an Azorius turn. Pretty much basically everything I wanted to draw I just have now. So I can even play a civil legion and leave up an Azorius turn. Which I will do. I could have left the uh, Sacred Foundry untapped for counterflux, but I don't honestly don't think I need it. Since he's playing green white, he has nothing that can actually kill me, like direct damage wise. He just has to attack with his Q rune. Or play creatures. 
Can't even count it out anyway. Are we gonna see the key rune attack? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Here we go. Okay, I got it this time. I'm gonna watch it attack, Jace. Okay. <laughs> gotta go to that always, but. That is not resolving. I'm probably going to counter this back on the way down. It's the only thing I'm having a hard time dealing with. I can probably kill these with a detention sphere or something. What is you to a symbol region? How good is Boros Reckoner here? So if I play two Reckoners and leave them double first strike man, I still have four mana left. I think that's plenty mana. That end counter flux is the only card he has left is. Uh, that key room anyway, so I'll just counter that and get both my guys for strength. So three mana and then two mana. And I can just sit here for eternity and let my soldiers build up. Slizzy. Key room, Selesnya Charm does not kill enchantments. That is Glowberry Charm. Red. Could have overloaded it for flash value, but I don't really see that it needs to be flashy. I think this game's in the bag. Two more soldiers. Um. I think I'm just going to plus this until I actually need to draw something. I can cycle my Azor's charm if I really need to. Be doing things here. Uh, I still have two sphin one Sphinx's Revelation left. I think it's my last Jace though. Oh, one Jace left. Now he drew a card with the Guardian. That's somewhat intimidating. Because he can just use that now. Well, it doesn't really do anything. That's my Zorius charm. He's a 52. <laughs> oh, that's so much. Ooh. Ooh. Should I drawn that last turn? So what I can do is detention spheres this guy is he uses Grove of the Guardian blocks and I Zorius charm as blocker just to save a soldier. Or rather, Boris or Kinnerson is all the type of that. Uh, he just let it resolve. He didn't activate this. Interesting. So my opponent's playing pretty loosely. <laughs> I think he's just focused on something else right now. I'm uh, attacking with everything. Pretty sure I already used Jace. Okay. Opponents at 40, we've got a long way to go. <laughs> I make four soldiers next turn. And he's drawing blanks. He gave me this sweet free Azorius charm. Kind of wish I was in the new clan right now so I could just uh, attack at everything. It's slightly tiresome when he's dead. And I have to actually go through the motions of killing him. I'm just plussing Jace because I want to see what his deck, what's in his deck, information and whatnot. Another key rune, it's a little too late. It's not going to do much for him. Five soldier tokens. He's floating mana. He's attempting to use Grove of the Guardian, I think. Doesn't realize what the card does. Oh, he's just activating this upkeep. I think he's trying to run my clock down, even though he has significantly less time than I do, and I'm recording. <laughs> I 
Now I'm just going to power through this Kiryu. I'm not going to play my other Disciple of Legion because I don't see a point. It's just more triggers, more tokens. Actually, you know, I will. Might as well. I doubt he's going to draw both Detention Sphere and Island in his next couple draw steps. Highly doubt it. <sighs> he's at four. It's so close to dead. So I've done 50 damage to this game. <laughs> so that's enough to win two games. This game has been the longest two games. It's kind of interesting though. It took a long time to die, but I, I won the game about four turns ago, five turns ago. Okay, against him, I definitely want Sphinx of Revelation and a symbol of Legion and these angels. I actually never see Slesnia as a deck. Keening Average is not very good against him. Uh, North is a turn, actually. The only thing it can kill is the Guild Masters. Guild. Guild. What are they called? Guild Mages? Guild Mages. Uh, Static Caster is not good because one of them doesn't do anything. You actually need specifically multiples. Counterflux is fine because of these gigantic creatures. Though Static Caster did actually save me last game. From quite a beating from some worm tokens. I could bring in muggings for his. Actually, that would just be for his guild mages. I think Angel's Ferrandi is better than Static Master anyway. I think I want to keep this. My, my, my deck got a lot more expensive, but if I find myself losing to worm tokens, I can just work back in the Static Casters. Keeping this hand because the charm is very good against his early plays. And Counterflux is good against his late plays. For instance, if he plays his guild mage now, I kill it. Looks like he may go with the knight token, which I don't care about. <laughs> Only awkward thing about Counterflux, I can't play planes next turn. What, is he, what, what kind of hand did he keep? So his four drops are. Nothing. His main threats are on three and six. Three. Oh, he's Tristani as a four drop. So I don't care about Tristani because I have a supreme verdict. If you play Tristani, actually Tristani would be very annoying. But he's not doing anything with it right now, so I think it's fine to just play Boris Reckoner here. And let him resolve his Tristani if he has the green mana source. Okay, you just play the centaur. It's much worse. Yeah, I'll trade Selesnia Charm for Isa Charm. Use Selesnia Charm and he wants to use it to pump his centaur token. I'll give my first strike and attack. Or give my first strike and then charm it. That gives him a free range resolve. And trust on it basically again. It's the same choice I made last turn. Okay, I'm gonna play another Reckoner, play Sacred. Oh, what is this? The post blockers make a soldier token, make a knight. That is more than acceptable. <sighs> okay. So you know about the problem with I play my Reckoner? He kind of has free reign, so if he's like plays Tristani now, I I'll, I still want a verdict, but I'll have to give up a, an extra Reckoner to do it. So I'm just going to play my Sacred Foundry on top so I can counterflux, and then counterflux he does something shady. Counterflux if he plays Tristani.
I'm taking a bunch of damage here. What if the Guardian's kind of a thing? It looks like he's just trying to race. I'm fine with that because I'm just going to sit back on this record right now. Now, the burden of proof is on you. You must get through me. I'm content sitting back and drawing cards. Whereas your late game is much worse than mine. Like, he, all his cards have really good synergy. But if I can break apart that synergy pretty easily, like with a verdict, his entire deck just falls apart. He has to do with so many cards, this strategy, that. And it falls apart just a couple of cards. I still have like self sufficient cards in my deck, and he does not. So he's just gonna lose the late game. He needs to like get the ball rolling really early and snowball me. So I can't do anything to stop him, and he cannot do that this game. So unless he has something pretty impressive here, uh, it's not looking good for him. Okay, so he's not even attacking now. He's doing nothing. I think he's waiting for a sixth land so he can play Armada Worm, but that's not going to bail him out because I have a Conflux. And a Supreme Verdict. Actually, if he plays Armada Worm here, I'll just let it resolve and Supreme Verdict it. And the cards he's drawing is much less going to be much less impact on the board than mine. He probably has some Keening Batches or something. To deal with my detergent spheres, but his sideboard cards are not very good. If he attacks here, that means he's trying to bait some sort of Selesnia charm action. Or some uh, Rootborn defenses. If he does nothing, he's gonna time him up. <laughs> Oh, this game's a little boring. One, two, three, four. Um, I'm not sure the wisdom of going to eleven here. I could leave open. I could. Uh, yeah, you know what? He's not doing anything. I'm gonna play Jason. Leave open that card. I've been talking about all game. Counterflux. I'm just gonna plus this bad boy. Makes a knight token. Okay. It's not even that good. So he attacks all his creatures at chase. I block the centaur. Deal two damage to him, and then his knight tokens deal two to chase, and chase goes to three. Then next turn I can wrath. Uh, if he plays nothing, I won't wrath. Eh, I can wrath anyway. I can kind of flex this guy. This is a reborn nonsense. He's not doing anything. It's very clear how to counter spell in hand. I'm just going to keep blessing chase. I do not have to do anything. He's going to have to deal with Jace eventually. And he does not have a guild major. He can activate his growth. Okay, he's going to keep playing creatures. Why didn't he activate his growth? I'm just going to wrap now. Because he can't. This is weird. I don't. I don't care if this is big. Because I'm wrathing this turn. This is some sort of ruse. If he wants to rootborn defenses here, it's actually pretty bad for him. I guess he don't, didn't factor in that I was going to be. He was two power less. I'm not really sure what he did there. This guy's not playing very well. Attack with my Reckoner, and then Wrath. I 
He can brute born defenses and then untap and play our modern, but I have, I have a verdict for that, so it doesn't even concern me. I feel like he's been holding this all game, but he hasn't actually done anything with his creatures up until now, so it doesn't actually matter. Come on, let me cast King of Hearts. Ooh, I can actually visit turn this. That's significantly better than a counterflexing. It's not even too bad, I think. SJ, Sylvester. It'd be kind of annoying if he had a Slesney Cuber in here. So he could attack my Jason. That's the way of dealing with it. I think this is our mod already has been holding on to for a year and a half. Like a you know, colorless mana. I kind of want to dig for a land with Jace just so I can play some old Legion, but I don't need to. I'm just going to old Jace next turn. Grabbing a simple Legion from my deck and probably our modern run from his. I'd grab a Jace from my deck and then cast a simple Legion. I think this is getting counterfluxed. And yes, it is. I don't, I don't really want him to have any enablers. I think it is better for me to get a, a Jace and just cast my Symbol of Legion. Because now I don't have any like, reason to leave with mana. So I'm going to get Jace Architect of Thought, and what does he have? Three root divisions in his deck. Col collective Blessing? Oh my gosh. That actually might be better. That gives all my Civil Legion tokens plus one plus one. He has a Sundering Growth. He might have a Sundering Growth in his hand. So if he has a Sundering Growth in hand, our model would be better. Just because he can't Sundering Growth then. He's a Slesnia Charm in hand, assuming he plays four and didn't board any out. Okay, so I can be greedy with Collective Blessing. <laughs> so Collective Blessing and a Symbol of Legion, and then he Sunday Growth's my a Symbol of Legion, and I don't really have anything. Or I could be Sane, and I could get Armada Arm. <laughs> uh, I want to be greedy so bad, but Armada Arm is just the better card here. I'll just play some of the Legion anyway. Some of the Legion, Boros Reckoner. And I'm devoting everything to the Lord because I don't know how he can stop me. I saw his deck, he has no like any way to reset the board. He has a slice new charm to deal with our model worm or my worm token. Okay, there's a Sunning Griff. Which I figured he had. Tap land. You could play a knight token and block Boris Reckoner, in which case he takes 12 and dies. So I think he's pretty dead here. Okay, good time. Man, that was so long. Whoa. Okay. Whew, sorry about the length of that game. But, yeah, that's. I recommend you not play Slesnia. Like, I, I liked the deck initially because it was, it was cute and it did a bunch of cool things. But it's just so bad to Supreme Verdict. <laughs> like, you have Rootborn Defenses, but when you're playing this very slow, grindy deck, and all your cards are relying on each other, they count on one of those cards, and you're like, your entire strategy just falls apart. I like the... If you're going to play Slesnia, if you really like the mechanic or whatever, uh, I suggest you go aggressive. Like, I, 
I recorded some videos a while ago when it was just I Return to Ravnica about an aggressive Slesnia deck that just played like two drops and three drops and tried to kill them and had uh, populate as a secondary thing. Like it was, it helped you get ahead, but it didn't, you weren't completely reliant on it. Uh, that's the kind of deck I would recommend. That way you have self sufficient draws where you can just kill them quickly. Uh, again, that deck's worse than Mono Red, but it has its own strengths. Oh, but I do not recommend you play very slow token Armada Worm Selesnya. That's that's for Bant. They have card advantage. <laughs> okay, I'll be back in for round three.